in this episode, you get to experience a day in the life of a new scientist. I am Dr. Francis Tanam Jankwa, a neuroscientist. I trained at the Uniform Services University of the Health Sciences in Bethesda, Maryland, USA. Um, looking around, I saw that there were a lot of neurodevelopmental disorders, and uh, many people were at the roadside, no help, they're just walking about. And so I thought of doing something that could help these people in the long term. And when I spoke to one of the professors whom I met in Nairobi during one of the neuroscience meetings about whether there's really a solution to the mental problems, she told me, yes, there is. And the hope is to pursue the path of neuroscience, and study it and understand it. And then in the end, through research, we can find a solution to this problem. The brain is the master control system of the whole body. In fact, there has been debate as to whether we laugh from the heart or we laugh from the brain. The thing is, we laugh from the brain. Every single thing that we do is controlled by the brain. Everything, name it. There's nothing that we do that the brain doesn't control. So I think that I'm studying a system that is a master control system. Very, very important. The experiment I did and visualized live neurons that were moving from one part of the brain to another part of the brain. There, I got to understand that this movement was controlled and well precised, such that a little error or a little mistake could lead to the neurons being misplaced, and that can lead to serious devastating disorders on the brain. That I'll never forget. So on a typical day, I may have a lesson in the morning, say 7.30 to 9.30, and I go deliver the lesson. And after that, I come to the lab, this research lab. And um, right now, we have three projects that are running. One of them consists of um, exploring the possibility of using cassava to replace agarose in DNA electrophoresis, and that is running. Another project is to look at the effect of monosodium glutamate on unborn mice. So we administer monosodium glutamate to mother mice, and when they give birth, we look at what happened to the brain. Another one is to also look at malaria, the effect of malaria on the brain. So that falls under cerebral malaria. So these three projects are running. Now, assuming I have to do a molecular work for the first project, so I come in here, and what I do, I go to a PCR machine. Here we have nucleic acid material, DNA, typically, which we want to increase the quantity of it. So we set it up in this thermal cycler, and then we run, and we make many copies of the DNA. So with the many copies, we can actually use agarose to run the gel, or we can use starch to run the gel. So we make many copies here, and then with the many copies, we actually come to this image here, this is an imager which can show us the band of our DNA that we just copied. And then we take note of the molecular weight. So we amplify DNA, run on the gel, and then visualize with this machine. And we take note of the molecular weight. And then we also make another gel with cassava and run the DNA again and compare with agarose. So we want to see how the two would compare. So, so far, we have successfully amplified DNA and then we run on agarose with um, this machine we've imaged it, but we are yet optimizing the protocol for starch. We have not got to the end yet. We are still making the cassava starch because we have to treat cassava with some reagents and some chemicals and that is what we have been doing. My name is Dr. Francis Tanam Jankwa and this has been a day in the life of a developmental neuroscientist. Thank you.